Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to solve equations that have like terms in them. So what to do if there are like terms? Here is an example. So if you notice on the left hand side, we have two different x terms. And so when we solve for x, we know we have to get x by itself. So we're going to have to combine those two like terms. So 7x minus 3x is 4x, and then we bring down the equals 20, then we divide by 4, and x equals 5. Okay. Now, on this one, we have m's on the left, so we have to uh, add those two terms together. So negative 3m plus 8m is positive 5m. So we have 5m minus 2 equals 28. And now we have a regular two-step equation. Add 2 to both sides, giving us 5m equals 30. Divide by 5 on both sides, giving us m equals 6. All right, now we have a bunch of y's on the left here, so we're going to have to add all of them together. So 9 plus 3 is 12, minus 2 is 10, so we have 10y plus 4 equals 54. Now we have our two-step equation. We're going to subtract 4 on both sides, giving us 10y equals 50. Divide by 10 on both sides, and y equals 5. All right, now this particular one, this is our last one. Um, I'm not a big fan of the way this one is set up. Um, I never put my signs together like that. I always have a parenthesis in between them. But you will come in contact with these every once in a while. So um, what you're going to have to do is simplify this before you add the like terms. So a minus negative makes a plus. It's really negative 1 times negative 7 in that first one. So if you notice the, uh, the minus negatives turn to a plus and the plus negative remains a negative. Okay, and at this point now you can add the like terms. So negative 3 plus 7 is 4. 4 minus 12 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 10 is 2. So we have 2g equals negative 14. We divide by negative 2 on both sides, giving us g equals negative 7. All right. So there you have it. You just learned how to solve equations that have like terms on one of the sides. I encourage you to re-watch the video if you need to. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.